the Hampton Inn's an institution around here. It really needs to be back in the community, functioning you know, as a restaurant and gathering place for people here. I want to get it up, as, up and running as a restaurant and bar uh, again. And eventually have, have rooms, you know, eventually have it be an inn again where people can come and stay overnight. <laughs> and also kind of, you know, a community gathering place, hopefully. Food is going to be uh, local. We're going we're gonna to source as many local products as we can. And it's going to be, it's not going to be anything fancy. It's just going to be good, healthy, delicious food. Uh, German, a bit of French, uh, not too pretentious, a bit of country cooking, maybe some beef bourguignon, schnitzel, uh, some good steaks. We're going to have all organic food from the farm right across the street. And I'm looking forward to uh, being able to pick it right off the vine and bring it over here and cook it. We came up here in 2000, we bought the farm in 2000 and pretty much immediately started a very small vegetable operation and over the years it's just expanded continuously. Uh, we started out probably maybe 10 acres in vegetables, now we have every year 50 acres in vegetables. The store I bought in 2001 uh, because I'm an old building fanatic <laughs> and we have the cafe as well. I was able to get funding through um, Delaware County Economic Development and the Catskill Watershed Corporation to, um, to, to go forward with the project. I'm hoping to be open um, March or April. We're doing some minor renovation work and uh, getting the kitchen cleaned up. People, like I said, people are really, you know, really want it to be up and, and operating again because um, it does, it has, it seems to have a real place in people's hearts around here. Um, people tell me they're excited, so I hope we can make it work. 